this is Piali from Twin Rivers Branch. Today we will do a nature's craft. I went for a walk and picked up a few stuff, um, twigs again, yes, and lots of rocks. I also used some bottle caps. I have an idea in mind what I want to make, but I haven't done it before, so we will make it together on this video. Um, it's gonna be fun. So I'm thinking of making a candle stand. Let's get started. I have picked some acrylic colors, a gray, black, gold. I absolutely love the shimmery gold. We will just paint the rocks with these acrylic colors. So uh, before um, painting the rocks, I when I came in, I washed the rocks and with warm water and soap and scrubbed it well so that there is no moss or anything growing on it and it's nice and clean surface for the paint um, oops i got color on me so let's paint the rock and i'm speeding up the video so you don't have to see me paint all these rocks slowly forever i use double coat of colors um, that's simple let's finish it while the rocks are drying, I will gonna play with the twigs. I want to make something like a small bundle of woods kind of a thing with the little twigs. It's a very tiny bundle. So I've cut the twigs and I have some jute twine from something. I don't remember. I'm just making it into a small tiny bundle. Let's see, I will zoom it in so that you can see. Yep, it's just like a bundle of woods. I also added a small gold ring kind of a thing. I don't know where it is from. It was just on my craft table. I'm using it. Yeah, you can use anything to embellish it. So, yep, see? Let's tie it at the back. And just make it a very sturdy bundle because, um, like, nothing should come out of it or loose or something like that. It's a tiny bundle and cut the ends of the twine and it's all ready. See? Cute, isn't it? Yep. So now uh, we have a little bundle. Our rocks are almost dry. Let's see what we can do with the rocks now. I'm thinking of drawing something on the rocks, adding little details to it. This is where you can go as detailed as you want to be or as simple as you want it to be. I'm going for a simple clean looks like stripes, dots and things because it will be easy and quick and I'm more eager to see if I can make this project happen. So uh, yeah, here it is. I'm using gold on the black ones. Yeah, I like the black and the gold combination kind of the shiny shimmery thing. Um, you can do a lot of things while you do this detailing part i have also touched up wherever there was little gold missing so now this is my bottle cap yes bottle caps are not recyclable um, and so i am using the bottle caps for this craft i picked a bottle cap a little bigger than the tea light i'm using i think this is a cooking oil bottle bottle cap yes you have to make sure it fits um, the tea light fits in there let's stack up our candle stand i'm using hot glue i absolutely love hot glue for this project we need a strong glue i think you can use rubber cement for it because that also helps up natural materials well so i'm putting a lot of hot glue and simply stacking my stones up only thing we need to take care of is that the stones are stacked up like well like they're not wobbly they're like form nice and firm because that's will help us build up all our layers you can choose and this is the fun part you can play with which one you want now on what color so i put a gray now i'm going with solid gold let's see how it fits we can turn the rocks and like the way we want it to be while the glue is still 
moldable so and make sure you put a lot of glue it means this is the only thing which will hold up the rock and give the illusion as if the rocks are just delicately balanced on each other but in fact they are not they are strongly glued and sturdy ones so let's pick the next one should i go with this one what do you think um this is flat i will leave it for the top okay let me see yep yeah, this one can work this can work this is the fun part of the process you just play around and have fun yep i will go with this one so simply hot glue that also and i'm turning the rocks a little bit so that it's more flat and leveled um, oh here comes my twig part let's see will it hold it up like this it's all trial and error process because i'm doing it with you guys now okay let's try that i really want to use this twig bundle so i hope it holds up the rocks on the top hot glue should do the trick i'm pressing it very hard so that it's really leveled and stuck on it so and i'm using a little flatter stone yeah i picked the stones more on the flat bottomish kind because that helps in this process you cannot have totally round stone it won't see the stack looks good mm -hmm. i'm liking it okay next is the black stone. oh yeah the entirely black one see this is more rounded stone but still it has a flat bottom to it that's um, yeah if when you pick the stones those helps and the gold again okay i'm just making sure every time this is nice and freestanding sturdy because that that's very important when you're making a candle stand you don't want the fire to wobble and fall and have a little accident in the house so make it should be freestanding and sturdy so this is my last tones and it's the most one of the flattest one the i use the flattest one in the bottom and one on the top yeah so looks good oh my gosh the stack looks good isn't it mm -hmm. let's see how it stands yep it's warm now the time for the bottle cap as we have painted the bottle cap with gold so it looks like doesn't look like plastic it looks like better mm, okay and those annoying strands of hot glue we can take care of it see this is our stack it looks beautiful from the back also if you want you can add the details at the back after it's done also you can keep on painting and playing with it and here is my candle fits perfect i will do one more thing i like to just add these details a little bit i don't like the look of a clear hot glue in there so i will take a thin brush and paint the hot glue like you know it makes it look fake so i will just take a small brush and where we have added the hot glue and it is clearly dried we will just paint it let me zoom i then you can see it what i'm doing see those clear hot glue marks there i'm just simply painting it i'm trying to blend the color with the color of the stone above it or under it that's it and you can touch up wherever you think yeah the paint is not perfect this is the time you can do all the tiny detailing to make this project absolutely gorgeous uh, i'm just looking through where else i have a little bit okay under the gold stone there is a little bit um i don't think you can see me okay let me push it up um yes you can see me now let me zoom in see what i'm doing i'm simply painting the where the hot glue has dried up the this kind of thing it has formed by doing this it gives the illusion of we have just stacked up the stone uh, it's nothing is holding it it's just the matter of balancing it done what do you think 
Beautiful, isn't it? Let's light it up. I absolutely love how it turned out to be. It is very sturdy, freestanding one. I always think about this because I have two dogs running around in my house all the time. So I don't want any fire or anything to be wobbly and it's it's really stacking up well and freestanding. Um, it's a beautiful project. It's something of, like I really love. It can make a good gift, a good home decor, anything you wanted. See how it is stacking up from? I hope you can see it from every angle. It will be beautiful from all the sides. I like how I added this little natural twigs in between. Hope you like this project and you will give it a try. You will make your own stones and twigs candle stand. Let me move it around a little bit and see how it is. Thank you so much for watching and making the candle stand with me here. Make sure to watch all our Mercy County Library Systems uh, videos and on our YouTube channel. And if you make these beautiful candle stands, please share with me. Leave a link in the comment section. I will stop by to check it. Uh, it's gorgeous. I'm, I'm really loving it. Thank you for stopping by.